Ron Darvin said he wanted to take some of the blame for not having things be more organized in the fourth uh, with the 17 point lead. You know, you've been in the league a long time, but wh where did you see that start to go the wrong way and why did that happen? Uh, I just got to finish the game. Um, you know, everything has to go wrong in order for you to lose a game like that and everything went wrong and they, you get tip your hat off to Indiana. They kept fighting, they kept pushing. Um, uh, Halliburton is a really, really dynamic point guard, really good, very cerebral out there. And, uh, you know, they, they took the game from us, so you give them credit. LeBron, considering where this team was at 2-10 and 10 and where it's been these last couple of weeks, finding itself playing better basketball, how do you anticipate you respond as a unit uh, to this disappointing loss? Well, I mean, you respond for, to it is exactly how you respond to a win. Get into the film room the next day and see ways you can be better. Uh, see mistakes that you had, and then you implement that to the floor. So, got another game on Wednesday uh, versus another very good team in Portland, and uh, you come out and then you execute. LeBron, we, excuse me, sorry, we've talked a lot about like trust and getting to know this team. Are, are situations like that, that last possession scramble, is that where you have to stay true to principles, or is that just always just going to be instinct and and everybody kind of flying at the ball? Um, I'm trying to recall the the play. Well, we got we, we messed up a coverage um, to start, and that's how Miles Turner was able to get the open three. So we were already in. We had already messed up the coverage to start. So that's why we were in scramble mode after that. Even with them getting the offensive rebound, we should have came up with the offensive rebound. But it was a, it was a scud. It, it, I mean, it hit off the front of the rim and flied all flew back all the way to the three point line. So. Um, so we were already um, in scramble mode, and um, we had two on the ball um, at that time. I, I think uh, DS and AR was on the ball, and um, AD had two. I was playing two, and uh, Halliburton found a uh, found a shooter weak side. I got out of good contest, but uh, you know NBA players they make shots like that, so you give credit. Kyle, um, first of all, actually, how how is your ankle that the uh, looked in the first quarter? Uh, it was better before it happened. And um, second, uh, you know, AD, two shots in this fourth quarter. I, I think you said before that, that you find some responsibility as a team leader to get him involved, make sure he's involved at the end of the game. Um, how much of that falls on the teammates to make sure AD is able to get some looks? Um, it's all our responsibility. You know, um, that's definitely all our responsibility, and you know the way he's been playing. You know, you always try to figure out a way how to get him the ball. Um, I think tonight, just I don't know. I have to watch the fourth quarter and see, you know, why and uh, what was the reasons him not getting the ball, um, you know, or, or not getting them shots. You know, he. There's gonna be times where you get the ball, and you just you know shoot the ball, depending on how defense is playing you. So, you know, you don't you don't want to get too too crazy about that. Um, but we see. I need to look at the film.